Okay, okay, I hear all the messages, I hear all the comments. Let's do another buddy review video. It's been quite a while since we've done this and honestly it's mostly because the old battle buddy has died and the new battle buddies isn't out yet and I kind of want to wait with doing these until the game got out but so many people wanted these videos that I just just like sure let's do it let's take a look at some of the buddies you guys suggested and let's see what they're all about and with that we're gonna jump into the first one which is Gunter created by Carbohydrate Chen Meet Gunter, an overworked gardener with an overworked gardener who is tired of a certain garden gnome with carnivorous hat, which I'm not sure who he's referring to. But uh, he also created some skills for this character. A uh, skill one: plant bathwater, water an enemy with water. Obviously, uh, this deals moderate damage, uh, just like most of the buddy skill one basic attack. Uh, skill two, feisty flowers. Flowers attack the enemy with their thorns. This does overtime damage with last maybe three turns. Overall damage will be increased if the enemy has been hit with skill one. So first of all, I really like the idea of having like a combo between skill ones and skill two, maybe even between skill three. I always really like uh, putting up strategies like that. I also really like uh, Gunther's design. I think he's really cute and <laughs> I don't know, I, I like characters like that. He kind of reminds me of that one uh, character from uh, Gravity Falls that like dies at the end. It was all dark and stuff. But yeah, I think I, I really like Gunther. It's, it's a shame he only got three likes. Come on guys, give Gunther some more likes. Next up from Fluffy Bat Dragon. We actually got a character without, uh, without a name. I got really lazy on the scales and I don't have a name for this buddy. But here is the buddy ID and uh, first things first, we can clearly see uh, what it is referring to. We got a lot of Battle Cats uh, logos. First of all, that's a no-go and that would need to be changed were it get to get in. Of course, it can just be a different cat icon, but just not the Battle Cats logo, you know. Other than that, I actually really like the design. He did make uh, two skills for it, Chomp and Sneak Attack. And by the looks of it, her tail is doing all the attacking. I just honestly thought it looked pretty cool. And I know that, like, just look at the likes. If this were to get added, this would be one of the fan favorite characters. Even if I make this one in a million chance, everybody's gonna grind for it. <laughs> That's just how it, how it works. Uh, but I, I just thought I'd include it. I think it looked really cool. Besides the Battle Cats references, I think it, it's good to go, really nice and cool design. Next up, I wanted to do a bit more of a scary suggestion, but still keep it fun and lighthearted. We have Pikaru from Jelly Bean Roasted Chill Banana. That's a mouthful. But here is his design. First of all, his design looks really, really cool. I like the shirt that he's wearing. The fact that it goes over his arms, I think is really, really cool. So skill one is Haunting Shadow Cast Hound. Not sure what that means. I'm guessing Hound is a status effect and it just does moderate damage. His skill two is Scary Face, decreases attack and defense. Pretty good skill. Uh, if it's single target, it's totally balanced. I wouldn't put it to, you know, decrease the attack and defense of every enemy buddy, but just for one target, Perfectly, uh, perfectly cool. And skill three, teleport. He teleports. Uh, not sure how that's gonna work, but we can figure something out. Like a cool uh, attack animation where you pew. But yeah, really cool. I always appreciate it if uh, if skill icons are drawn. I I really like his design. I think the the little guy on the wait maybe the little guy on the back is hound. So it's like a summon, uh, it's a summoner, that's what it is, it's a summoner. But I really like his design, I think this could be great for either a Halloween buddy or just a scary map. I honestly really really like him. Here we got from, from our own developer Tamago-san, Strawberry Witch. 
and by the emotes below it you guys really really like this one and that's for a good reason it's a really cool design uh, obviously it it kind of matches with strabella that we already revealed so just for that it would already make a lot of sense I really like it because it gives a more, you know, most of the time plant-based buddies are, you know, cute and beautiful and cool. And this one is, is scary. It's, it's dangerous. You don't want to get near it. And I really, really like it. I'm just a sucker for those long sleeves. So that's really cool. And uh, the little stra strawberries that like float on the tentacles. I think it can be made into really, really cool animation. Next up with... 8 likes from Daddy Donuts, rough body concept for the new area. So this was created for the planes biome. And I wanted to pick this one into particular because honestly for me, this screams one thing, cloaky skin. I, I really like his design and if cloaky were to make it into the game, yo, Daddy Donuts, I can assure you this will be a skin for cloaky because he looks really, really cool. I I can't say more about that. We, we don't have any skills uh, with it that we can read, but just on design alone, I really, really like him. But, but let's say it were to be a standalone buddy. I think if it was a standalone buddy, maybe we would do like, uh, well, he has a staff, so maybe like a ranged fire attack. And uh, for one of his skills, he can go like he put his cap a stronger on his face and he takes less damage, something like that. I don't know. All I see is a really cool cloaky skin. Next up, also from one of our own developers, Mansur's Alt, Sherub, it's a rose shrub. Pretty simple. Um, I really enjoy this one because it gives me a rare buddy vibe. So for those, and I doubt it, that don't know, in our old Battle Buddies game, we had a system where one in a thousand, one in two thousand, you had a chance to encounter a very rare buddy. And honestly, this buddy is designed in a way to work as a rare buddy, in my opinion. I don't know what it is. But something about this just screams rare buddy to me. About the skills, I think it would be more damage over time because, you know, roses and thorns and stuff probably have a lot of poison effects. But I, I really, really enjoy it. it. It's cool. It reminds me of rare buddies. And that alone is enough to put it on the list. We are quickly nearing the end, but luckily we're not there yet. From Carbohydrate Chen again, meet Holm, the sea monster. Let's collect flammable oil from the ocean using a water gun, a hose and an oil tank. So he only has one ID for skills, so let's go over that first. Skill 1, pew pew, couldn't think of a name. Holm shoots oil at the enemy with his water gun. If the enemy hit with the skill, that's a burn staggers effect. The damage done by the burn staggers effect increases. Once again, like I told you guys, I really enjoy having like a really simple game. But when you go deeper, you can make it very complicated. Like, oh, if I use this skill while this buddy is burned, we do more damage or... Uh, I, I use this status effect called uh, oily and if a fire buddy attacks he takes double the damage because the oil ignites and explodes and everything gets area damage or whatever. I really really enjoy that and besides that it's a cool axolotl. I like the fact that he doesn't have eyes like he's blind he, he's, he's just smiling all the time. I uh, he kind of reminds me of a genie, the way how he is drawn. So I can imagine him like floating, like uh, the fairy of parents float uh, effect. And uh, just the fact that the water gun just, you know, moves on his own. He doesn't use his arms, he just moves on his own. And uh, <laughs> he attacks like that. I think it can be really cool. And last but not least, from Iyer Sketch, Vulcumber, the sea cucumber. It lives near volcanoes in the deep seas, so it evolved as one. It is literally a sea cucumber volcano. And now we got a big truck going past my house. So this sea cucumber, first of all, 
I haven't read the scales yet. I just totally picked this of design because it looks so, so cool. But for now, let's actually try to read the skill. It's a bit low quality for me, so let's see. Ability 1, Lava Stomach. Fukumber slaps a target enemy with its stomach. High chance to burn the target. Really cool skin, very simple, small burn chance. Amazing. Ability 2, Panic Eruption. Shoots a barrage of fireballs. Deals low damage to random targets. I think this could work. It's RNG is always a bit of iffy when it comes to being tactical, but let's say all three enemies have a shield and you use this ability and you just get lucky, you hit all three of them and boom, all the shields gone. So I can see this happen in a totally normal match or just to be funny. And ability three, a mega blast, shoots a huge fireball. Dealing massive damage and guarantees the burn effect. Uh, I think that's always a good idea to in like your ultimate, your skill tree or most powerful skill. Go all out and just guarantee an attack with it. Like there is not really a need to do like 80%, 90% on like your ultimate skill. Just go for it guaranteed, makes him really reliable. This is kind of the guy that you just want to, you know, swoop in the battle, burn everything, and uh, that's it. So I feel he's kind of more supporty than damage. Uh, and maybe if you, you know, you pair him with the oil guy, you do even more damage. <laughs> and that's what it's all about, right? Yeah, guys, so that's for all the amazing suggestions that we got for battle buddies for now. Now, there were so many suggestions that I, I couldn't even pick all of them. There were so many cool ones and I had to skip a lot of them because some of you guys went wild and wrote like entire paragraphs, made entire animations of your buddies. And while I do want to review them in a video in the future, it just didn't make sense to include them now to have like all those small buddies and then giant buddies. So they will probably get their own dedicated video but for now i just want to say that we're getting really close to get the new reveal trailer out for battle buddies i am extremely excited for you to see it and i hope you guys are too i want to make this game the best battle buddies game that we can make and i hope you will follow me on the journey thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time